guys. Now, did you know that in Microsoft Word, when we have a table, we can actually do a couple of things with this table, such as sorting. Check it out. I'm going to select, here is a table, I'm going to select this table, the data that I want to work with. Here is the data. I'm going to sort this alphabetically according to the first column, okay? So alphabetically according to the name of each country. So watch what I've done. I've selected the data that I want to work with. I'm inside my table. I'm going to go to my layout tab for my table. Don't forget, there's a layout tab here, but that's for the document. And there's a layout tab here because I have a table selected. And in this layout tab, I go to my data group. And here is my sort option. So check it out. I'm going to click on sort. And I can see, hmm, alrighty. Let's see, I'm going to sort by Sweden. Well, that's actually column number one. Okay, column one. So I'm going to click over there, change to column one. Uh, text, paragraphs, ascending. So A to Z. Let's do it. See what happens. Perfect. Everything's sorted. Absolutely perfect. I could do this the other way around. I could sort it according to column B. Let's do that. So I go ahead, select all of my content, click layout. There it is there. Go to sort, select the second column, column number two. And I could do that from lowest to highest, for example. So let's do ascending and again, lowest to highest and click OK. There we go. Lowest to highest. Fantastic. Another thing that you might find interesting that we can also do is we can add numbers just like we can in a spreadsheet. Check this. I'm going to click inside this bottom cell. I made this this little area for this very example. So I'm going to click on the bottom cell and I'm going to go to uh, layout again. There we are. All right. And I'm going to insert a formula. Here it is. I'm going to insert a formula. So I'm going to click on formula. And as you can see, it's already detected that there are a whole bunch of numbers above. So it's probably wanting me to go equals sum above. So I don't need to do anything else here other than click OK. So I'm going to click OK and look at that. It's added up for me. Now, how do I know this is a function here? Have a look. If I go and click over there, do you see it's actually got a, uh, I'm going to zoom in there for you. It's actually got a little gray border, uh, background, and I'm going to right click and you see I can say update field, edit field. All right. Important thing to notice here, though, is if any one of these numbers do change, and this is where it's not like Excel. If I go and change a number, a few numbers, a few numbers there, do you notice that it doesn't automatically refresh? I have to refresh that. So I can literally just right click here and just update the field and it's updated. So just be aware of that if you are going to use this. There are other functions as well or formula. If we have a look here, if we click, we've got a bunch of them here and a bunch of them there as well. So when you do have a play with this, have a look and see what else there is. You might find yourself using some of these in Microsoft Word in the future.